Introducing the X, yet another DIY motorized camera slider. You start by building the base of the slider. You can use track composite material like I use here, or you can use just a piece of wood that is flat and long enough to sustain the slider. You will also need two aluminum rails that you can purchase in any hardware store. I attached the two aluminum rails to the base using wood screws and made sure that they were perfectly parallel to each other. For the idler pulley, I used a patio door wheel that you can buy in a Home Depot or Lowe's hardware store. I used a similar wheel but made of plastic for the motor pulley. Here is the complete setup opened up. You can see that I use regular string to connect the two pulleys and the moving cart. Rather than building my own slider cart, I reused a Pico Dolly. This Pico Dolly can be used in the slider and at the same time is still removable, so I can use it standalone. For convenience, I used a small ball head to attach the Pico Dolly to my camera. This ball head is made by Osro and I'll have links in the description below. Two small springs allow me to attach the rope to the Pico Dolly using two thumb screws. An advantage of using springs is that they also dampen a bit the movement, making things move smoother. Thumb screws are a convenient way to attach and deattach the springs. The thumb screws are quarter inch 20 thread screws that you can buy in a hardware store. Here's a close up shot of the motor attached to the traction pulley. A small piece of wood with a hole in the middle allowed me to fix the motor to the base using two wood screws. Here's a close-up of the motor that I used. This is a gear motor with a 30 RPM 6 volt rating and provides low speed but a high torque, surprisingly high for the size of the motor. This is a close-up of the electronics that are built around the PIC 12F683 microcontroller. The microcontroller senses the limit switches that are positioned on each end of the slider and reverse the motor accordingly. This is accomplished using a relay. A potentiometer allows me to control the speed of the motor by using PWM control associated with a power MOSFET. I may do later a video explaining the electronics in more detail, but you could also do this just with the limit switches where the motor would stop when the limit switch is activated. This of course wouldn't provide reversal, but it would still be a fully functional slider. Power to the project is provided by 6 AA batteries providing a total of 9 volt. The batteries attach through Velcro for easy insertion and removal. For the enclosure I reused the old ATX power supply case, painted in white in this case, and includes a power switch and also a blinking LED. Unlike most DIY projects out there that only go to 10, the speed control in this device can actually go to 11. And here it is in action. Since the limit switches in the circuit are just mounted in parallel, it's easy to add another one in case you want to limit the movement of the cart even further. 
In this case I just use the clamp and some crocodile clips to attach another switch in parallel. And finally, I leave you with some test shots. Enjoy! 